Hello, so now I am going to add some more details on the face and to me this ears looks quite big, unnaturally big. So I am going to take some references again. I am opening the references again to just check that whether my ears are quite big or not and he, as you can see as you can see the ears if I compare with the reference ears are quite big as proportion to the face so I'm going to just reduce them we'll make them a bit small So I'm continuously comparing with the results. We'll reduce size them more and I think that is better. Another way is I am just want to reduce the overall shape. So I have just selected and inverted the selection. Now I'm going to just reduce the size. And I think now this looks better. Alright, we will correct the shapes. Okay, now let me check with the muscle. So actually, I am just trying to define that how the muscle is muscle is going across the face, and uh, as you can see, the skin the skin is following the gravity. So the wrinkles are falling, and you can easily notice the volume is building on the on the downside. So all the volumes are building here so it, it just gives the impression of gravity. So I am going to just imitate that.
as you can see here is one more nasal muscle is going on so that's why I'm just making it and then it joins with this here this joins the eyebrows So let me take some other references here also I can see the eyes are building in muscles are coming from here so we are pretty much getting the overall feel so I will follow this one because we are following this and you can see we have made this part a bit more inside I think we can do some improvements on that and you can see I'm just defining the muscles on the eyebrow side so adding the more volume Meanwhile, I will also follow the this area that we actually took the reference from here. I'm roughly just defining the wrinkles to just get the sense of the flow. Here the wrinkle will follow. As you can see here I'm just following some wrinkles adding the some imperfection then all across will continue adding the wrinkles on this here also Thank you. 
graphically defining all the details so we can actually change it and these wrinkles come down So for actually wrinkle flow I will follow this so all these wrinkle follows from the head to and just meet here in the jawline so I will continue that I will just keep adding the details meanwhile here I'm just roughly imitating the flow of the face so it should follow the gravity and here some more details I'm adding the imperfection making it more prominent This is the most prominent wrinkle so actually I'm just adding the more intensity here See on the bottom side if we just so the overall purpose for all these adding detail is just to understand the understand the flow of the face so basically there is symmetry but how the hairs will move from top to bottom how the muscles will flow so this will give more believable creature so you that will look more natural okay so I will correct this uh, head area I think this can be improved a bit so in actually head area is not that much problem so I am going to just move it a bit inside And 
I think this is better. So now actually we have reached to the point that I would like to add the more skin details and adding fine wrinkles. But before go doing that, first we need to uh, correct the topology. So basically I'm going to use Z remesher for the retopology.